Yeah. All right, so I'm here with Julian. Julian, how old are you? I'm 35. You're 35? Yes. You look younger, bro. I wish I was younger. I just got... <laughs> um, are you homeless right now? Yes, I just became homeless. Just yeah. lost, I just lost my place like maybe three months ago. Two months ago? Three months ago. Three months ago. Just due to the fact of not renewing my lease, so I'm still I'm on the street right now. And then plus I haven't got my job back either. They haven't, they haven't called me back, so... I'm so you were working and all that? Yeah. Uh, what what type of work were you doing? I was doing. I worked at the Diamondback. The at what? The Diamondback. At the stadium. At the stadium. I was a I was a supervisor. I did. I did my, my own crew and everything. My own concession stand and everything. And uh, like I said, lost. I lost the day and called me back. So I'm here in the streets and I'm doing what I can do to survive. And what are you doing now in the streets? Like, uh, do you mess with blues or anything like that? Well. Uh, be honest with you, uh, I I fucked around with them a couple of times. You know, I do every once in a while, but you know, I try not to get too addicted to it because I mean, people do crazy things for it, and blues are too different. So, is that one of the, the reasons why you ended up losing your home, or no, no, no? I lost my home because due to the COVID. That's why oh, I lost yeah. my place. Yeah. And right now, you you said you're homeless, right? Yeah. Where do you sleep at at night? Uh, I sleep over here on 43rd, or sometimes behind Fries. Yeah. Yeah. And right now, when I pulled up to you, you had like, uh, like four bottles of like um, detergent. What was that for? Uh, that was, uh, that was for, uh, what do you call? It? What do you say? That was for uh, my money, making money. Did you do that like boosting or what? Uh, no, actually, somebody brought it to me and asked me if I can help get rid of them. So I was, I was helping them get rid of it. All right. So, yeah. Cool. I don't do I I don't do any boosting, you know, but I help the boosters. Oh yeah. yeah. You're kind of like the middleman. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any family out here in Arizona? Nope, I ain't got nobody. Are you originally from Arizona? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Born and raised out Born here. Born and raised. Born and raised here until I was six to seven, and then we moved up to Texas. You moved to Texas. Yeah. Then yeah. you moved back. And then my mom and then moved to Nebraska. So All I'm right. here. I stayed here. So um. Like, how many blues do you do a day, bro? Yeah, uh, maybe five. Five? Five a day, yeah. And how does that, how does that make you feel, man? Shoot, uh, really, I have been, been one time, I've been, I've been wanting to get off of them for a while already, so, but it's just hard to, to deal with the withdrawals. It's really hard. And a lot of us know, it's like, the sickness sucks, but you know what I mean? We hate to go through it a lot, because it, it, it's the aching pain and all that. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, like I said, eventually I'm gonna, I want to get off of it. And that's the only thing. This is what this is what happened to me, being robbed from people from Blue. What happened to you there, bro? The, the, uh, there were two females that freaking uh, robbed me uh, for fifteen dollars just so they can get their blues, and uh, they pulled me into their car and uh, started driving off. As they, they, they as they drew off, I was driving off. I was trying to get loose. I was trying to break the window because they had the window up, and uh, they saw that I was. Pulling that, so the girl rolled down the window and she yanked me more in, and then the the, the driver took off, just sped, sped up and faster and shit. And so then, as soon as I let go of the money, the other, this passenger girl she kicked me right here in the chest and I flew out of the car, moving at 30 miles per hour. Damn, that's yeah. crazy, man. So that's what happens. And you didn't go to the hospital. Yeah, or I went to the hospital and everything, and I, I filed a I filed a, a charges on her on the people on the people that they hit me. And so I did that. You follow char charges yeah. on them? Yeah. And what, what were they? Were they just uh, other addicts, or were they yeah, like uh, the suppliers? They were. They were. Either, they were either. Other, they were other addicts, or either her suppliers as well. Yeah. Yeah. One of the two. I'm not too sure because I know they were trying to get rid of perks, and I was trying to buy. Um. So, is the are the perks the same thing as blues, or are they no, two, two different things? Two different things. One's they're Vietnams. One's Vietnams, and the other one's uh. Um, uh, what do you call it? Oxy, uh, oxycodone. Do they get mistaken for each other sometimes, or, or not? Nah, no. Nah. nah. The people who know which is which, you know which ones are which. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and who introduced you to those blues, bro? Uh, well, it was my best friend that introduced it to me. Uh, and then from him, it was his, his brother. So it was just down the line, you know, just hanging out, just hanging out, being dumb, and then trying to have fun, and then realize it. You know, the blues popped out, and that's when I started it. Yeah. 
And before you tried the blues, did you know how addictive they were? No. And the, all the negative no. because of it? No, I didn't have none. If I, if I would, now that I know what I know now about the blues, you know, I, I, the ones that, that haven't tried it or I don't, or not even done it or know anything about it, I, I always, I always tell them, you know, don't start it. It's best to don't start because you're gonna regret every bit of what you know starting that pill for this. It's, it's like, it, it's the devil's drug. I mean, honestly, too. Try me once. Uh, like, try me once. I'll let you go. Try me twice. I'll take yourself. And this is true. It, it, it'll take yourself. You'll forget who you are. You'll forget run around. You'll forget to shower, bathe, all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? You'll be that'd be the one thing that's on your mind every day. Uh, yeah. You know, just blues, 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 blues. You know what I mean? I was at that point, maybe about a year ago, but now I'm at the point where you know what I mean. I I just started talking to my my kids again. So like I can get his stuff back together again. So yeah, that's so why. So you have kids? Yes. How many kids do you have? I got folks? three. You have three? Two girls and one boy. And where are they right now? They're with their parents. I mean, they're with the mom. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is she is she good or is yeah, she she's like? Good. She doesn't. She don't know anything about my life. My family doesn't know anything that what's going on with me here. You know what okay. I mean? Or even my kids. They don't know anything. Try to not to tell me anything much about it or anything, cause you know it's kind of it's kind of embarrassing and it's like you know it's not something that I want them to know. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. What about uh, your folks? Like your parents? Uh, do you have your parents still? Yeah, I still have my parents, but uh, like when my stuff got stolen, when your stuff gets stolen and it's hard to get another phone replaced, cause you know you ain't got the cash for it or anything, it gets hard to stay and connect with your family. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's like every. I mean, I've had my stuff stolen like three times already. So you notice I don't have anything with me. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's day to day, just things that I take, use, and then throw away. Use and then get rid of it. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just. I mean, I got a storage. I got my stuff in the storage. I paid, I paid forty dollars a month for my storage fee. You know what I mean? There's a little, little bit of stuff I have left. So, but I'm gonna get everything back together. So if one of your loved ones gets to see this interview, like uh -oh. maybe <laughs> one of your kids. I don't know if you have siblings. Yeah, I got siblings. Um, your mom and dad. What would you like to tell them, bro? Uh, I would like to tell them that mom and dad, and mom, dad, brothers and sisters, I love you all. Uh, you know me. I pull myself out of this point. So I pull myself out again. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna be here down here forever on the, on the ground. So sorry you had to see me like this. You know, this is my bad time, but it, I'll be good. I'll be better again. Love you all. That's what I would say. All right, man. And. Are you okay with me using this for my YouTube channel? Yeah, I'm good. All right, man. I really do appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you for the interview. No problem.